Hey guys, another special episode of Love This City TV and of course Toronto, our home city. We're here at Wonderland for the Heart and Stroke. They're trying to get the Guinness Book World Record. They have to do 8,000 people doing CPR. These trustful people, look how hardcore they're going. Wouldn't you love these guys in your group of friends? Something happens, look at them. Look at the dedication. Look at how focused they are. Now this is what CPR is all about. Something happens, someone's got to be there. So stay tuned to more Love This City and we're going to show you more and more about doing a good cause. Heart and Stroke Foundation on Love This City TV. Hey guys, we have a special actress here, Michelle Nolden from, of course, The Undeading. She's going to tell us a little bit of how it was to film the film. And, you know, she's here for a good cause again, the Heart and Stroke CPR. Tell us a little bit about the movie and what you played and everything. Well, I, for those who haven't seen uh, the movie, the gist is that I um, get chased by these zombies who, once I have a heart attack, revive me so that they can eat me at the end. Because, of course, zombies only like, you know, live flesh. Um, so I think it's a really clever... Um, um, innovative, out of the box way of uh, for the Heart and Stroke to get the message out, right? Like they're just getting a whole new demographic, and um, and it seems to have sort of spread like wildfire. You know, people really seem to be responding to it, and and it's such an important message, and it really truly can save a life. So it's been a real pleasure to be a part of it. That's pretty cool. I wish I can play a role that actually helps people like that, and then gets eaten, so then my legacy lives on forever. Look at that. She became a star like those those artists. What a great idea. Check out the film. We're going to give you guys all that stuff. And thanks for coming. Thank you. All right. Take care, guys. Watch more is about to happen. Video, but if you are just arriving, uh, I wanted to say, you know, there's been so much amazing at attention and buzz about this event and this initiative in Lida. We really want to keep that going. So so please tweet tonight. Take photos. And, uh, and if you do tweet, if you could hashtag The Undeading, it would be awesome. There's also the Facebook fan page, uh, which is The Undeading as well. So thank you so much to all of you for being here tonight. Uh, we're hopefully going to be part of history as we try to break the Guinness World record for most people trained uh, in CPR at once, but it's so cool that you're here tonight to learn all about CPR and learn how to do it. So thank you very much. Give yourselves a big round of applause for coming out because it's really, really cool that you took the time. Good evening, folks. On behalf of the Heart and Stroke Foundation, it's my great pleasure to welcome you here this evening. It's wonderful to, to see and feel the energy. Uh, I've been worrying about the weather here tonight for the last four months. Could you raise your hand if you were responsible for the weather tonight? My mother, whoops, my mother used to say that, uh, you know, nine times out of ten, what you worry about doesn't happen. And if you told me four months ago that we'd have such an amazing night of weather, I wouldn't have worried. So next year, if you could let me know in advance, I would appreciate it. It is a great pleasure to have you here this evening. I know we're trying for a Guinness World Record. Whether we break it or not, in my mind, really doesn't matter. What really matters tonight is that people are going to learn how to save lives. 40,000 people will have sudden cardiac arrests across Canada this year. Of those, 85%, say 34,000 people, will have those, those cardiac arrests outside of a hospital or somewhere where they can get immediate care. Of those 34,000 people, 5% will live if nothing is done. 5%. So that means maybe 2,000 people. So 32,000 people across Canada will die this year if nobody applies, if nobody applies hands-free CPR or an AED. So it's extremely important what you're doing here this evening. You're saving lives. So I'd like to welcome you once again. I'd like to thank Canada's Wonderland for being wonderful hosts. We couldn't have asked for better partners. Hey guys, I have someone awesome here. We got Dawn here. She's going to explain a little bit about her background and why she's here for this great cause. Dawn, thanks for coming. What's up? Thanks. Uh, we're here at Wonderland and we are here to break the Guinness Book of World Records because CPR is really, really important. And it's important that you know how to do it. So just 
help learn how to do CPR. I'm a nurse, but I'm also, before I'm a nurse, I was doing CPR when I was a little kid. So it's important for you to know how to do it. It's important for you to want to do it if you have to. And that's what today is all about. I couldn't say it better myself. That's awesome. I hope you guys are here. And don't forget, we're going to show the link after to make sure you guys are CPR certified. Take care on Love This City. Yeah.